Hello, my name is Eric and thank you for joining me on this brief tutorial on how to install a patch to the Financial Edge. Let's get started. For the purpose of this video, we will be demonstrating the patch installation process for the Financial Edge. The same steps apply for the Education Edge and Blackboard Student Information System. Patch installation should initially be installed on the server where the Blackboard Management Console or BMC is installed and then afterwards deployed to any workstations. Be sure you are logged onto the server with a Windows account that has local administrator rights. Before you begin, be sure you have a backup of your database. If you're unfamiliar with how to perform this task, feel free to refer to Knowledge Base Article 75111 or search on Knowledge Base for how to perform a backup. Consider watching the video tutorial provided. After downloading the patch from blackbot.com on your server, double click on the patch executable. Click Yes on the User Account Control prompt. Next, you will be prompted with the Update screen. Click Update the Financial Edge to install the patch. The patch installer will then begin to update the Financial Edge. This may take a few minutes to complete. After the patch is finished, you will be notified that the patch was installed successfully. Click OK to exit the installation wizard. The next step will be to log into the Financial Edge on the server. Once the database selection screen appears, select the database you wish to upgrade. If only one database is attached, you will go directly to the login screen shown here. Enter a valid username and password and click Next or hit the Enter key to log into the upgraded version. Click Yes to begin the update. The database will now be updated to the patch level you just installed. This may take a couple of minutes to complete. Once the database is finished updating, the patch install process on the server is now complete. Next, we want to deploy the patch to any existing workstations that have the Financial Edge installed. First log on to the workstation with a Windows account that has local administrator rights. Existing workstations will automatically detect the patch once the users attempt to log into the Financial Edge. This will occur on the workstations after the patch is applied on the server. Click OK to acknowledge the patch will be applied. Click Yes on the User Account Control prompt. In the event that you are not automatically prompted to run the patch while logging in at the workstation, we can manually run the patch directly from the deploy folder. If you are unsure where the deploy folder is located, then refer to Knowledge Base Article 38496 or search Knowledge Base for how to locate the deploy folder. In the deploy folder, open the patch folder and then run bbpatch.exe to manually apply the patch to the workstation. Once the patch is finished, double click on the Financial Edge shortcut and then log in. This concludes our brief tutorial on how to apply a patch to the Financial Edge, Education Edge, or Blackboard Student Information System. I hope that you found it helpful, and if so, feel free to share with your colleagues. See you next time.